Hello and welcome back to Legendary Legend of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. On um, last part we um were in Kakariga Village, I bet you guys are like wondering why the heck is he back here? Well when I when I got to recording my last episode, I accidentally pressed a button on a keyboard which restarted the emulator. Meaning all my unsaved progress was not saved. So I had to do I had to come back from my last save spot, which was like right before like the last spiritual stone, and get everything else, and then come, and then yo, you know, come back to be uh, adult Link, and so I'm like, you know what? Well, you know, Mike, I might as well try this. Um, try doing this. Just, just, just try giving this a try. Where I, why, why glitched out? Just to give it a second try. If I don't do it, I'm just gonna, I'll just, I'll just skip it all and say what the heck, I don't care. But right now, anyways. There are some people in Kakarika Village spreading rumors that I've cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees, and you can ride. Yeah, we're we'll right. I might as well show this to you anyways, because I didn't get this show to you before. Do you, do you know? Do you, do you want to listen? Do you want to listen? No, I don't. I already know how to ride, so okay. So you get on here. What do you do? No, <laughs> I didn't want to call. Ah. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, touch her again. Wait, no, touch. Wait, wait, what's so I say? Great! You're safe! I knew I would hear from you again. I'm in the forest temple, great. The forest spirits were calling for help, so I went to check it out. This is Sarai, of course I have seen it. But it's full of evil monsters. Help me, Ace! No, I don't want to hear her talk again. No, I don't want to hear her talk again. Oh. Okay, <laughs> what was that song again? Oh. I can't believe I forgot. Oh yeah, um, when I went back, ugh, I didn't mean to do that. When I went back to the uh, um, Bama Chu Bowling Alley, I lost a couple times. And each time you lose, the prize becomes different. Or when you win, it becomes different. When I first played there, I was, thinking, I was probably gonna win a bomb. And then it was a uh, bomb bag, and then Bama Chu's. Well, I lost a bomb bag in the uh, bomb, but I did win the Bama Chu's. So now I have Bama Chu's. <laughs> oh, pfft. Yes, now I have Bonnie Chief with me now, so that's, I, I want it in the bowling alley if you're wondering. Anyways. Okay, there you go. What you want to do is you want to call your pony, your pony to you. Oh. You know, I realized after I, after I went back, after, yeah, after I went back and I do all that stuff again, I realized I don't have, like, I I I I'm, I'm, I probably miss a lot of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, you go over here. You can talk to him right now. Speak to him. Hey, mom, do I do, do I know you? I just felt as though I've been somewhere before. I think yeah. I think yes. You can say I'm done, or I think you can ride it out if you want. But I'm just gonna do that. You want to talk to him one more time? So yes to ride. Don't listen. Call your opponent again. I'm so glad to be adult link now. It's so much easier, you know, because now I can um I can finally just oh I can finally worry about spoiling anything. Just you know have this. And it's great. Anyways, I think if you I think if you're supposed to just talk to him now. If you're supposed to like, do it two times. I don't I don't know if the first time you're supposed to let the time go by all, but let's find out. We'll find out now. So oh still talk to him. They're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral, corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rubies? Uh, yeah. 50 rubies. <laughs> yeah. This guy sucks. So yeah, the first, first race with him, not that hard. Second race, oh my gosh. He just, he's a freaking jerk in the second race. You want to see what your character a little bit because you gotta um 
you gotta jump eventually, but yeah, try to keep going. If he gets, if he gets close to you, um, get right in front of him, like right in front of him, smack down in front of him, so he can't pass you. Save your carry, save your carry as much as you can. His first one right here, not that hard. Boom, easy. And it's only one lap, it's around the, um, gate, so it's not hard. The first one's easier than heck. Dun 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 dun. Shoot! If the great Gandor found out about this humiliation, hey, you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep that, you can keep the horse. If I don't win, I'm just gonna levitate over the fence, just saying now. <laughs> just saying now. He's gonna ch You can't do this! I won't let you in go. I won't let you beat me. I need, I want my horse. And I, I'll get it either way, whether you want me to or not. So, you might as well just give in and let me have my horse. It's better for all of us. Come on. See, so just get right in front of him. Um, just make sure he can't pass you. Make sure the carriers come back. Come on. Okay, there you go. No, you're not gonna beat me, dude. This is the opponent we're talking about. You can't beat me. I am the greatest horseman in the land. There you go. It was really easy. My first place game, that was, that was probably the hardest part of this thing, but it's not really hard anymore. But there you go. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great, great Gandorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot. Ha, ha, ha. I don't like your eyebrows. You're scaring me. As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. <laughs> yeah, you wish. Well, okay, so here's, here's your options. You can either jump over the fence, jump over the wall, jump over the back wall, or jump over the fence. Well, we already jumped over the, that wall, so we're gonna just like, we're gonna just, um, you know what, actually, no, I'm gonna jump the gate, so I already jumped, I've already jumped the wall, so. It's, it, it, it's epic either way, but I don't have to jump the, you can jump any way, you can jump the gate, you can jump pretty much any of the walls in the gate, so. Boom, you just jump over, and you get out. You're like, Pshh. you're just like, yeah, beat that. And then you, if you go back, um, I'll go, I'll go back later. And there's some, there's a little more few things you can do there. But uh, right now, I'm just gonna go back to Cockery Village now. But anyways, we get one more epic screenshot with uh, getting our horse back. <laughs> oh, I didn't even do that either. I really did not mean to do that. I felt so stupid. I was like, wow, and I, I couldn't believe when I achieved my way through that. But there you go. That is the honest way of getting it, so I feel better now. I don't feel like I just cheated you guys out of your money kind of thing. So, anyways, now that we've done that, let's go to Kakarika Village finally. We'll just stop right here. Get off the opponent, and we're going there. And now, we'll start off running with how much time do I have? Oh, I have a lot of time left. We've got seven minutes left. We can do this. We can totally do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't become sunset. I hate when things come sunset. It really annoys me. Different, ugh. I don't like this kind of color scheme for a village. I mean, it's kind of nice, but at the same time, it's like, eh, I don't like this. Anyways, everything has changed in Kaka Okay, I should probably tell this a little bit. In Kaka in Kaka Village, everything's changed. Usually, pretty much everybody that lived in Hyrule Castle, or Hyrule Market, pretty much came here. So now you have a lot more people who um, lived in that Hyrule Market, now live here. So, I can show you a little bit. So now you got this one, so you guys want to have her dog. Anyways, go over here. This is what's really important, you get to figure the towel on. He was kicked out of the ranch, not until he came here. Mainline, doing alright. Mm -hmm. Sorry to make you worry. Oh, that's right, yes. Well, at the moment, you cannot wake him up. As you remember, in the first time you met him, what do we have to use to wake him up? A cuckoo. So, in this part, we have to actually find, we have to get a cuckoo. Um, right here is a arrow. Um, arrow practicing, but I don't have arrows or a bow or anything like that, so I can't do anything like that. Anyways, Remember Angie? Let's go talk to her. Or whatever her name is. I don't know if they tell you her name in this one. Anyways, I bet you type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket, cu pocket cuckoo. Cuckoo, whatever it's called. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Late risers out of bed. Have you heard of them? Have you heard of them before? Not really. It makes them very happy to crow. Cuckoo! Or ca, I don't know. <laughs> Fifteen one wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You know, you you look like you're a good you're good at hand, handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? You try? Yes. 
So you get the egg, you borrowed a pocket egg, blah blah blah. Um, it will hatch overnight, so pretty much since we have the sun song, we can pretty much speed up this little thing real quick. Let's see, so okay, we're, we're just gonna play the sun song right now. You play it once, you play it twice, and things should hatch, so. It's really interesting how all they have this that little cookie and stuff anyway, so I'm probably doing something like that tomorrow. Equip that. <laughs> It's kind of interesting. You have those bugs for seven years and they're still alive. Hmm, kind of weird. I still like the cool red effect that the volcano gives you. Anyways, <laughs> is there any no okay, cave? Like, wait, is there a ghost skeleton in there? Nope. And, yeah, ghost skeleton left. Anyways, we'll do that one more time. I think we still need. We th I need at least 40 ghost skeletons. I'm probably going to go for at least that goal. To get at least 40 ghost skeletons so I can get them. Okay, anyways, the egg hatched. Then you go right back in, and this, this is what you use to, um, this is what you use to wake up Mr. Sleepyhead here. What in tarnation? Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Same as before, <laughs> never changed that. Did you save Melon? Thanks! I'm going back to the ranch then, Yeehaw! Yeah, but if you, if you talked to me before, you're just like, oh yeah, I got to kill the ranch, blah, 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 you know, and all that stuff. Then, uh, then, but, you know, and then you talk to him and you come back in here. I think he should be gone. Yeah, at least he should be. Yeah, now he'll be gone. Happy day for him. I'm glad for him. <laughs> uh, poor guy. He knows he's lazy. He, you can't, he, a person should never be kicked out of the home. Ever. Anyways. So now you got this guy from Hyrule Marquez now here. You, a bunch of people who were here last time, weren't, really, weren't here last time, are not here. So anyways, let's talk to Angie again. Please make my cuckoo happy, okay? Okay, fine. Just I'll make I made your cuckoo happy, okay? Oh, your cuckoo looks pretty happy. He must have awakened. An extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cuckoo if you're in, if you're interested. Its name is Kojiro, and it's used it's used for my brother's cuckoo. It's, it's it's blue body is quite charming. He's, it's so cute. Since my brother has gone, it's strange, but Kojiro has stopped crowing. Do you want to keep it over? Yes, I want to keep this guy. <laughs> we get a blue chicken. Ugh. You return the pocket cuckoo to get to got to and you got Kojiro. In return, unlike other cuckoos, Kojiro rarely crows. So that would be in a later side quest, which I'm not going to freaking do right now because it takes a lot of time. <laughs> no. Ugh. Um. I probably will. I'm going to need um, 200 rubies when I go to Death Mountain. So if I don't, if I I know a little secret spot to get some money. So when I get a chance, I'll probably go there. How much time do I left? Um. Well, in this next part we're probably gonna do a few more. We're gonna we're um, gonna do something in the, the um, graveyard. But for now, we're just gonna stop here. So this is a pretty crazy man. So I'm not gonna look.